Well, experts in urban transportation planning have undergone training at a workshop on the establishment of mobile technologies to address difficulties that pertain to transportation. The technology will map information concerning the Accra Trotro network onto smartphones aimed at curbing traffic congestion and enhance free vehicular and pedestrian movement in the Accra metropolis. The Accra Mobile Project can be identified as the first comprehensive GIS mapping exercise for a paratransit transport system in Africa, which lends itself to providing real data for transport policy formulation and decision making. Since 2008, there has been many urban transport project initiatives, some of which are beginning to yield results. This includes the introduction of the soon-to-be-commenced quality bus services on the Accra Amasaman Transport Corridor. Accra Metropolitan Chief Executive Alfred Okuvandapoy says the focus of the Assembly is to continue to provide the right policy environment in Accra to improve both social and economic services, including transport planning. The Accra Mobile Project, which dwells much on quality and real data, is setting the stage for good analysis and presentation of urban transport data and this promises to raise the sophistication of evaluation methods. The resident manager of AFD, Emily Julie, expressed delight in partnering with the AMA and GAPTI to provide quality transport services to Ghanaians. The idea is also to so it's about public transportation and try to avoid the use of car. Uh, if uh, the, if uh, in Accra you see uh, buses, modern buses, having, you know, are going faster than the others, then people will avoid using the car. Um, and I think this map uh, is a way to, to, you know, start the debate uh, about how can we be mobile in Accra.